screwed them on Fallout 76, to be honest. I really think it is. Because they've been making games for over a decade now, relying on the, uh, it, the fan base to finish the project or to clean it up. And that's and, and that's what happens. You, you wind up going, hmm, what's going on here? Okay, so we're going to do some low-level ones. We could do a long, uh, I don't know if, if we see something good. Yeah, uh, exactly, Fexy. Actually, we're going to play a new game tomorrow. I decided that while we were playing the stream, we're going to play a game called Robotherium. By it's, it's by an indie dev. And I actually learned uh, about a new digital distribution platform, which nobody wants to hear about anymore. But I like to be educated and have knowledge so you can make informed decisions. And I was watching a stream on a channel called Tomic the other day by a lady called Page Monster that uh, streams for them playing it and I was like really, I want to play this then I learned about their platform and I actually signed up and I'm testing it right now to see how much I like it and we'll see how much it works out but they have a lot of older games and it's a subscription base so you pay $60.99 a month and you get access to hundreds of games and you can download them at any time and play them. And so far, I've been able to download. Uh, I downloaded Borderlands and Robotherium. And I was able to play them offline too. Sub Shibus, uh, Utomic. I'll type in. I get it. Uh, here, I get. I got it right up here. Here it is, Utomic. It's uh, just a quick little thing. I, I guess this is advertising for them. It's free. Whatever. Ah. It's a little, it's a little slow because of I'm uh, streaming at the same time. But the, all these games that you can uh, that the, you see here, you have access to, so you can play any one of these games. You can play any one of these. Obviously, they don't have any new release, uh, big name titles, but they do have a lot of older titles that you could play. So I could download any one of these games right here. I could download all these games on here. And it's a subscription for six ninety nine a month is what I paid for. And your fourteen or first fourteen days are free, but you do have to enter credit card information. But yeah, you can play any of this. And this is not all their library. So you know, Borderlands. I'm gonna. Uh, this is the game we're gonna play, Robotherium. You have uh, all sorts of different things that you can play. You got Outcast, uh, and that's that's this one's a good one too. From what I read on uh, some of the comments it also has user rating so that's good too if you like that but uh if you see anything here you like it's got the metro so if you want to play both the metro games but you don't want to buy them you can spend 6.99 and play both of them you know and get it all done within a month Tri trials in the sky i want to play this one actually i'm going to probably play that on my own overlord's a good game uh i may stream that someday if i ever if we ever have a slump time or something like that you got knights of the old republic all sorts of cool stuff here, actually. So, I'm testing that out to see whether or not uh, I can recommend it uh, for everybody because uh, I'm all about spreading information. Six ninety nine USA dollars, because I do know we have different uh, viewers from different parts of the world, so I'm not sure what the price is. Uh, let me. Uh, I guess I could throw up their link for their stuff. In chat to see if anybody wants to take a look at it you know i mean it's something to look at you know 6.99 for a month i mean there it is they have 915 games 20 added last month games start fast i mean i was able to start playing ro uh the two games uh robothorium and uh borderlands instantly uh, after i hit the play button so how they have it set up is pretty uh, pretty interesting. But that technology has been around for a while. I remember when you could download WoW years ago and be able to start in the playing areas, why it finishes downloading. So that's nothing new. And they got they got all their partners here and everything in the media. So yeah, personal plan, one user, $6.99 per month for 14 plays. Play unlimited games, cancel at any time. So for up to four users, say you have a household that wants to play different games, $9.99 a month, 
you know, you game her wife, game her husband, game her kids, you know, all sorts of cool stuff. Rimworld? Yes, I've seen more Rimworld. I, I watched actually Co Carnage play that, and uh, he was really good at it. I, it was a really complicated game, it seemed like to me. But I'm pretty sure if I started playing it, it wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> the AAA games rock for a while. It happens. It's happened. It happens. Oh, so Grave Robber. Very rare. Plus five crit chance. 30 trap disarm chance. Two speed. 15. I want to get this. It's a veteran long. I got to explore 90% of the rooms. And it has what we want. I want that for our Grave Robber. And that is, where is it? Stranded Hope. So do I have a four-man team of badasses to do this? I think I do. Tilnak is not one of them. I am not taking Tilnak on that. That would be... Okay, so Miss AMR, I'm sorry, but I've fallen in love with Miss AMR and her damage. And if LJ was still around, if LJ's here still, I'm sorry, you died, LJ. <laughs> but if LJ was still around, he is, he was a badass. And I screwed up and got him killed. But, uh... Yes. You know, and I don't mind AAA because we, we can't talk too much dirt about you, you can't you can't throw too much shade at AAA's because they have given us they're going to give us probably the best game in 2019. A AAA game will be the best game period in 2019. So we can't toss it may be the best game for 2019 and 2020. It's going to be so damn good. And so we can't we can't uh, be throwing too much shade at it. And if you're wondering what game I'm talking about, it's Cyberpunk 2077. Because I've already sold my soul, one of my kidneys, half half my liver, and one of my lungs. So I can play that game. So I, I, I'm really, really hoping I didn't make a bad choice. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, and you and you got to think of Outer Worlds too by Obsidian because they did make Fallout New Vegas as well, and that was a really good game that got better with mods. You didn't have to install mods to fix that game. You love your fantasy games? Okay. I'm actually the opposite, uh, Fexy. I like uh, futuristic games. So... But I'm really excited. Where sticks? Is sticks is, is sticks out of it? Yeah, sticks is out of it. So we gotta take Barch, man. In the group. And B Star can't go on this one, can he? Nope. B Star's out of it anyways. So uh if we can't take B Star. Do we have any other level three? No, we do not have any. And it's long. We need a way to reduce stress. On a long one like this. Son of a bitch. <sighs> so I'm thinking of... Okay, so Shaz can't go. He's too stressed. It'll get him killed. Neorn. And I'm thinking Stranded Hope. Because Stranded Hope works good from the third position. She can heal herself. Sup, Imagine! SS73. How you doing, Imagine? Yes, Fexy, uh, Cyberpunk is from uh, CD Projekt Red. And they did make Witcher 3. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where to be the game of the year. I got a lot of organs on the line, you know? If somebody comes to collect for that, uh, I'm going to be in trouble. It'll be nice knowing everyone. <laughs> I love you all. Bye-bye. Uh, Satan phobia versus the unholy. Where are we going? Where is this at? Okay, so it's in the warrants. So, ooh, and we might have to... 
We might have the thing from the stars roams here this week. You might encounter it. Uh, so, demon phobia. Okay, so we're good here. Beast. It's in the Warrens. Warrens is beast, isn't it? No, it's not. Uh, that would be the weld. Okay. Uh, Satan phobia. Unholy. No, faithless. Okay. Deviant taste. Okay, I think spotted fever. Nobody's got any tetanus, vampiric, and bulimic. Damn. Uh, we're taking Shaz. Do, do I want to take a sh Shaz is like stressed already. I don't want to take Shaz. I don't want to kill. I don't want. But Shaz is like one of our big hitters now, though. Does he have a skill that de-stresses him? Nope, just heal. Yes, he has a stress heal. <laughs> All right, Fetch. Well, uh, we both, uh, if we both wind up disappointed, I'll be seeing you uh, in hell then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some games just really get me excited, and it, and and I think that's a good thing. If you could still get, if, if if as long as I think if you can have games that still make you excited, that you just can't wait to play them, I think that's a really really good thing. And the fact that we can still do that in this day and age, I think is a good thing too. So. And soon as we don't have that anymore, I think is when we're going to be at our saddest. Because that will really, really suck. So I think I just need to do this. High speed. I, we learned high speed was just so much nicer. Uh, six. So we got two more speed on... Chaz. So that's good. Actually, is there anything else I can use that'll give him speed? If I can get two more speed on him, I would be so, so happy. I could do this. Let's do that. So that'll give him six speed. Let's do that. We got 10 speed on Stranded Hope already. Oh my God. So let's make sure she uh, stresses less. Because he's got a stress heal. So stress less. Yeah. <laughs> we got our own cooking pot jacuzzi. I, I mean, we might as well start saving up for it. Because now that we talked all this and hyped it all up, we're going to have to come and pay the piper. All right. Uh, hmm. Damage versus blighted. Blight skill chance plus one speed. I just want more damage. Damage, damage, damage. Trap disarming virtue. So we're going into the Warrens. Let's. What, what, uh, I think that's Eldritch, right? Warrens. I really should just write all this stuff down on my arm or on a ta as a tattoo. No, Beast and Humans. Okay. That's not good. It's not good at all, actually. Don't we have somebody who's like really, really stressed out by Beast? Cophobia. Uh. Oh, okay. No, we don't. Oh, my God. Barchman stresses out if the torch is above 75. So we can't take Barchman. If we can't take Barchman, who can we take? Do we want to take Kayo? We can mark stuff with Kayo. We can take Terry Jello. It's a long one. Uh, we could take Kyle. Yeah, 
Kyle or Cherry Jello was our two options. Might take Cherry Jello. Because Barchman's going to freaking have a heart attack. Unless, unless I give him stuff to de-stress himself. De-stress there. I wanted to give him higher speed, though. Mm. Screw it, Barchman. We're going to go. Don't have a heart attack. Whatever you do. Uh, flight chance. Nope. Yes, it is level difficulty. So, and it's locked level difficulty. So, level zeros, ones, and twos can do the level one dungeons. Threes and fours can do the level three dungeons. And the level six dungeons are done by. The level five dungeons can be done by fives and sixes. And the level six dungeon can only be done by level sixes. You could take lower levels on some of the higher level dungeons, but they're stressed. They wind up stressing out quick, and if your characters get too stressed, they have a heart attack and die. So there's that, which sucks. Uh, I think I'm good. So is I, I I don't think there's a good one for me versus Blighton. Hmm. So if I blight somebody, I do more damage. That might that might actually be something I want to look into. Or no, I might want to just not worry about that. Get up. Uh, let's see, damage if torch is above unholy blight. You could just like. Really, I can up my accuracy. Screw it. Accuracy is better than nothing. So if you have a level one in the darkest dungeon level, that might be the way to go for easy levels. No. No. Because you don't get uh, uh, the completion of the dungeon unless it says there's any kind of modifier that would give you more resolve EXP. Because this is your resolve. That's your not your uh, actual level level. It means you're used to fighting in these places and they stress you out less. So that's why I'm trying to take a bunch of level fours on this because it is a level three dungeon. So if I take level fours on it, they will receive significantly less stress in here. So they're less likely to have a heart attack because when you receive 200 stress, you can have a heart attack and die. You can have a heart attack, I think, when you reach 100 too. But I wanted to take level fours all into it, but I just can't. So the best thing I could do is take two level fours and two level threes. And the two level fours that we have are our DPS, so they'll wind up being able to uh, kill things faster. Because the longer the fights last, the more stress you're going to get. You have mobs that specifically do stress damage. And so, and once they actually reach 100 stress on a mission, they become stressed out and wind up either becoming... Uh, Hope, uh, hopeless, paranoid, abusive, having a negative trait, or they become virtuous, like courageous. Uh, dare, uh, dare, I think courageous is the only one I really remember because it's like 75% chance that you're going to break and the madness will affect you, and you'll have debuffs for all your stats, or 25% chance that you become, that you uh, soldier on up as they used to say in the marine corps and you just like screw all this i'm going to kick your asses anyway no matter how bad it hurt looks but usually in most cases people become hopeless abusive and when they become in that state they also affect their team members so their team members suddenly wind up getting into that state faster so that's why i'm going to make sure that all the characters have if they have any kind of skill that would allow them to take less stress we're definitely going to look at that since we get to camp twice i'm going to make sure i have skills i'm going to probably buy everybody a de-stressing skill and if they have a group de-stressing skill i'm going to buy that first 
So having uh, actually Barchman is really good because all companions reduce stress. Then we have over here with uh, Shaz, all, all party members reduce stress. Yeah, I know the things in the skies from the Warrens. Yeah, there's a lot to this game. And it really, you know, intermixes. I'm going to try it. I think if we do meet the thing from the skies, this group will be able to kill him. And I'm thinking easy. To be honest. Because we got pick, we got daggers, whatnot. I can uh, cure blight and bleed. We are going to the Warrens. So we can also get a, a, a really mean boss while we're in here too. So, it's a risk doing this, but if I kill him, I can also get a really nice reward too. But it, it, at the end of the day, I can always run because I really, really, really want this trinket. And it's going to get us a bunch of gold and a bunch of deeds. And all I have to do is explore. I don't have to kill. So, uh, let's go to, oh, we're not going to pr uh, provisions yet. Now, let's go and make sure everybody I'm taking has some good stuff okay Shaz is looking good here stranded hope okay so here's the one I have to level up so she's got this and this and okay so Shaz we were going to get his stress heal he'll use that Archman is got okay heals and where's this? Oh, you don't have stun. That's right. We were supposed to get stun on Barchman a long time ago. All right. So how about this AMR? Good. Okay. Okay. So we're now we're out of money. Actually, I just screwed up. So now I'm going to have to sell some of my trinkets. Everybody's uh, trinket out, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, see what we got here. So, so that one, a crusader. We'll sell that one. A uh, bleed scant, the hellion. Might as well sell it. I don't use that one. Shield breaker, shield breaker, leper. Healing received is really, really, really nice. That gives me some dodge. Antiquarian. It's a really good one. Antiquarian. Good tanking. Max hit points. Food consumed. That, so that might be good later on. Uh, I got two of these. I'm not sure if I would wind up. So stress. Okay, I'm not using that. Now I'm just getting money together for the run. Life crystal, move resist. Get rid of that. Well, because I definitely want to make sure. Okay, everybody looks good over there. All right, so good. So let's give it a try. Ancestrals are worth 7.5k. Yeah, I'm saving it for a really bad rainy day in case something happens. All right. So, yeah, uh, I unlocked stress heal on you. So what we're going to do is since you're going to be playing front row, we're going to put your stress heal on you. And what's nice is you'll be able to upgrade our torch as well. Uh, Barchman, he's got good over here. Okay, so we finally got Barchman stun uh, we're good to go with skills over here good skills good skills okay this AMR and parchment okay so all right let's see what we can do yep self heal stress heal and a torch but you you don't ever get stressed on the freaking dungeon anyway, Shibos. So it doesn't really matter. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to take my scales just in case I meet the thing from the stars. So we're going to the Warrens. So that means I need at least a couple of those. Two keys, two of those, two of those. Uh, actually, we're going to go with five. Just in case we get dotted up. Two of those. Actually, two more of those. Let's go with... We're going to need 16 torches. Actually, we'll go with that. And I think we're good, right? That's everything. Five, five, two, two. Yeah. I'm probably overspending it and everything like that. But I, I want to complete this. And I don't want people to die. And... We may or may not get the thing from the stars. And that's our big problem. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must uh, scout the okay, Shaz. Homes. Okay, so you got that. And I don't have Holy Lance on you anymore. So do I want to remove stun? Okay. I'm just gonna have to deal with this. Uh, this is these are all frontline skills, and I can heal you no matter where I'm at, so that's good. All right. So this is a scouting mission. So let's kind of plan this. So this is actually looks like it'll be an easy room to scout. So I can go like. So we're here. We can go like on the outer edges. Then come in like this, and that will be enough rooms. And we can plan it as we go. So let's just go south. And see what happens. Okay. Let's find something to kill. <laughs> There's Shaz for you. Ooh, look at something to kill. I feel better already. Ooh, open up with a nice de-stressor for Bargemen. And here comes Shaz in with the freaking die bug die. Okay, we got another ooh big one there, and we're gonna open up with a crit. See, look at how quick. Uh, okay, so we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. All right, what do we got here? Anything? Nope. All right, did we get a scouting chance? Yes. So this will be really good. This can help us plan things. So we know there's a mob here. So we can just go this way. And we'll, uh, we'll take, no, 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 Miss AMR, stop it. Oh, change the hero. Is it a, a stout? Oh, damn it. Early riser. I wanted, I think early riser. I think I really wanted an early riser, wasn't it? No, no, early riser. Okay, no. I think we got what I want over here. We got gothic. Okay, no. Shaz is looking good. Okay. Nope. All right, good. Oh, look at that. Another scouting chance. So, so far, us going south was a good idea, it looks like. Reset formation. Good idea. All right, here we go. Nothing in here either. We're gonna get another scout. Nope. Don't touch it. Thank you. Ooh, I knew that trap was there and I didn't do nothing about it. That was an idiot. Cause that, if I would have done that trap, that would have been de-stressing. All right. Uh... Oh my God, everybody's stressing for food. That's not good. I should have brought more food. I should have brought way more food, actually. All right. Okay, so we know there's gonna be, so I can skip two rooms. So when there's combat here and combat here. So this should be a fight. All right, cool. I think so I can stun that SOB. That's good. 
I think Shaz is literally going to be almost able to kill him. Close. You'll be dead next turn, though. Uh, let's get rid of him, or at least lower him. Okay, good. Damn. All right. That's cool. Nice dodge. We're all going to get stressed. Oh! Ball to the face to Barchman. And he resisted the stun. Good. 